Hey everybody, I'm Mike DeSepoli and welcome to the Ask the Advisor Show. This week in episode 54, we want to talk about what to do with that old 401k that you've been neglecting for years. You know, a new year brings on new goals and for a lot of people, new jobs or job opportunities. And when we switch jobs, if we've been in a retirement plan at our old job, we now have an opportunity to do something with that money. But most people don't even know what their options are, so they tend to do nothing. So we want to lay out the four options that you have if you're in a 401k and you leave that job as you move forward to make sure you get the most out of your money. So the first option is to leave your money exactly where it is. You leave your money in your old 401k, you go work at a new place, and you just leave the money where it is. A lot of people tend to do this because they're so inundated with the details of their new job that they just can't be bothered with taking care of their retirement money. Obviously, we disagree with that approach. We think your money is important and you need to keep a close eye on it. But for many people, that sense of familiarity, they know the 401k, they're familiar with the investments, and they tend to just leave the money there. If the old employer is okay with that, then that's just a fine choice by us. Option number two would be if you get a new job and they have a new 401k, you move your money from your old 401k into your new one. This would allow you for consolidation. It would allow you to keep your money together and couple that with the new money that you're likely to add as you begin this new job. Now, the benefits of that would be you'd be able to keep a closer eye on the investments that you have and likely be more in tune with the money that's flowing into this plan. So that's option two. The third option would be maybe you don't want your 401k money associated with any job that you have, whether past or present. So you want to move it into what we call an IRA, an individual retirement account. Same idea as a 401k, right? A savings investment account for the benefit of your retirement. The only difference is it's not tied to any company and it's not funded through salary deductions from work. So that's option three. Now, some people prefer to go that route because they want to have more control over their IRA and the investments that go inside there. But it really comes down to personal preference. And option number four would be an option that I would strongly advise against unless you were old enough, which would be over age 59 and a half, to actually utilize your retirement funds. But option four would be to cash out your 401k. There's a lot of problems that come along with cashing out your 401k. Number one, if you're under age 59 and a half, you're gonna pay a 10% premature distribution penalty. So you're just gonna give away money to the IRS and that's never a good idea. And number two, you may damage your nest egg, right? If you've done a good job saving through the course of years and you've accumulated a nice sum of money, now you're gonna cash it out in one shot, you're gonna pay a lot of federal income taxes, state income taxes, and IRS premature distribution penalties. So you're gonna lose a substantial portion of the money that you saved. So we do not encourage that you cash out your 401k at the point that you leave a job. But I do wanna lay it out because it is an option that's available to most people. I just consider it to be the nuclear option, the one that you want to avoid at all costs. So that's it, guys. That's four tips of what to do with that old 401k. It's a new year. You have new goals. We want to make sure you stay on top of your money and get the most out of your dollars in 2018. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back next week for episode 55.